Every adder I come across gets its DNA taken and ends up in there. Usually at a tiny section of ventral scale, which is quite painless, it's just like clipping your toenails. You can just about see it in the bottom there. And that will go back to the um, University of Wales at Bangor for my colleagues to mess around with, uh, with their mitochondrial DNA. But unfortunately, we get larger samples um, since I've been here at Dewoop. Um, some tourists, um, whether they, they're blind or what, but uh, we get road kills. And uh, this is a puff adder in there. And this is also the heart and section of skin I, uh, I dissected out today, so that'll be useful. But unfortunate for the snake, of course. Now, this snake in here is the rare Vitus armata, the southern adder. This is a baby. Now, I'm not convinced it's found in the June thicket as um, proposed. I I'm sure it's on, found on rock, more rocky areas. And uh, we're going a little bit further north, a bit further inland um, to Potberg in a couple of days' time to have a look. I really want to find that snake. This was um, killed while someone trod on the rock, which a poor snake was under on. But uh, one of those things, I suppose. So we've got DNA, if nothing else. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Oh, yeah. No snake in the room. Oh yes, the southern adder, by this amata. It's always good when you get a first like that. Hopefully there's going to be some more, eh? Oh, what a pleasure. I know I keep saying that, but I don't know. Anyway, I've let the snake go earlier today. Away, for, a little way away from the road, but in, in the same location. But um, I couldn't resist taking a little bit of footage before she actually disappeared. Couldn't resist it.